What's up everybody? It's your girl Bule Bola launching your career as in Yelosi Yenu. You might have noticed that my background is a little different. That's because I'm shooting from school where I've been sorting out all my documents. So I figured that I have free time and about I'm about to submit these documents right after school. So I figured this is the best time for me to show you guys how to secure that epic <laughs> epic contract. Alright, so um once you've passed your interview you may believe that that means you've secured your contract, but that's not true. You only secure your contract after submitting the following documents that I'm going to show you. Thank me now in the comment section because this is how you're going to secure your contract. So let's start with the very first thing. And I have them in the order that uh, it appears in, in the website. So this is how I'm also submitting my documents. I did mention in Palisa's video, I'm not sure when she'll post it, but you guys know that we did a collaboration and I already posted my video. Hers is going to be up sometime soon. But I said in her video that I would show you guys uh, all the documents that you need to secure your contract. So here goes. The first one is... Actually, on the website, it appears as 15 documents. It's 15 documents. So I have... So out of the 15, there's three that I don't have. And that's... You'll come to understand why a little later on. So this is... This... I should actually have this stapled. I don't have my own staple. I don't have my own stapler. So... Yeah, I'm going to do that soon. I'm going to do that soon. So this is the first document. It's your EPIC application form. It's 10 pages long. And it has your picture here. And it's printed in color. Color, picture. And then you go to page 5. Page 5 is where you need to have signed with your hand. Somewhere in page 5. I'm not going to go through that. But... This is the first document. This is how it looks. Right. That's the first thing you need. And then we move on to two uh, recommendation letters. So this is the first one that I have signed original documents. This is the second one that I have. So the first one was actually from my first, my second teaching practice school, which was Gladwood High School. And then obviously the second one would be my, mo my most recent experience uh, here in Korea. So I had my mentor teacher uh, write this letter for me. So this is the second letter, also original with the school stamp at the bottom. Next, we have proof of schooling letters and you need two of those. So this is, oh, no, 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 I'm mixing this up. Oh yeah, I mixed it up, I mixed it up. So, this is the second recommendation letter with the school stamp here at the bottom. It's called the true stamp, I think. Next is the first um, proof of schooling letter, which is from my primary school. Stamp original signatures. This is the second letter. Pinetown Girls. Original with the school letterhead, the watermark, the works. Next, you need uh, two color portrait photographs. These are the passport pictures that you guys saw on my Instagram. I did a while ago. Two of those. This, I have an issue with this. This was actually supposed to be printed in color. This is the, uh, it's the fifth thing on the list. And that's the color passport scan. Obviously, mine is in black and white. I just realized this mistake literally like five minutes ago. So I'm going to fix that. And then the next thing is the academic record. I don't have this and you'll, I'll show you why in a little bit. So then we move on to number six, sorry, seven, which is the criminal record check. And this is mine. This is the criminal record check, which was obviously apostled back home. And I had it sent to me, blah, 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 blah. So this is the first page with the true stamp. Actually, this is not the original. So, cause the original is with the POE office. Um, so what I did was ask them to make a copy for me and then they stamped it to show that they have the original and that like literally like they certified it. 
So this is the first page, this is the second page. That's what it looks like. And then they also want you to do, um, give them permission to check your record. So this is a form that you'll get a doc, you get a template of this form, then you print this out, you fill it in, and then you add another picture here at the bottom, your passport picture. When you make your pictures, I think you can make like six of them for a discount or whatever. So you need a total of three uh, color pictures. So the third one goes onto this form, which is where you just basically give them permission to check your criminal record uh, themselves. And then we move on to number eight, which is the two sealed academic records. So this is why I don't have the academic, because it's basically the same thing. Number six and eight are basically the same thing. So what I have are two academic, uh, sealed academic records. So I had my dad send them. Uh, my dad got them from campus, obviously, because I needed another copy for the EPIC application. Uh, so I had my dad get them for me from my campus, obviously stamped, sealed and all the works. And then he sent them to the gold key offices in Cape Town. The gold key offices, offices in Cape Town then sent them to the old Seoul offices here in South Korea. So that's why I don't have those copies here. They're already at the, the Seoul office. So that's number eight. Number nine is your degree certificate. This is the original degree certificate. So when I had this done, I had... Okay, well, obviously this is the first thing that this is where they certified it from the higher education and training uh, in Pretoria somewhere. This is the copy of the degree certified or apostled. And then this is a copy of the letter of degree or other certificate completed for the PGCE, my PGCE certificate. So I have got both my academic, uh, my degree certificates and my my PGCE certificates in one letter apostled all together. So that the PGCE actually goes under number, I'll tell you now, that's, that would be number 11. So number nine is the degree certificate, but mine is attached to number 11, which is the PGCE uh, letter. Obviously you guys still need your proper PGC certificate, but when I had this done, what I had with me, because I bought these documents uh, when I came in February. So that's how they are together this way, because at the time I hadn't graduated. And then next we have number 10, which is your TEFL certificate. So when you have a degree certificate, you don't need, uh, when you have a PGC, you don't need a TEFL certificate. Well, that was the case with me. So number 11 is your teacher, certificate or your PGCE so that's number 11 the next is the proof of teaching uh, experience and this is what it looks like so my school had this done for me they made me fill a form and then they sent uh, they faxed the form that I had uh, filled in to the POE office and then the POE sent the school uh, or rather faxed this back to the school and then the school just made the stamps and did the signatures so this is basically confirming that I've been teaching at the school for the duration of the year, for the whole year, from basically from the 1st of Feb to the 31st of January, 2020. So this is my proof of teaching experience. And then together with that, I have the first page of the talk program contract, the talk program contract. And that's this. Also with the stamp. Uh, what else? And then next on the list is your residence certificate. Residence certificate is a certificate of residency is what we call it back home. So I don't have that with me actually. I I have it at my place. I submitted it here at the school. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but it's not a chain smash. So basically, what that helps with is to avoid a being double text. I don't have it with me because obviously the original that I came in with at the beginning of the year, the school took. And that's, yeah, well, also it was valid for the first year. So I need another one. So I'll probably get that when I'm back home. So I'll come back with that and submit it to the school when I start my new school, my new contract. And then lastly is number 14 
which is a copy of citizenship and this is the arc card so you have a back to back i'm not sure if this was also supposed to be in color or what but yeah this is the copy of the citizenship which is your arc card and those are all your documents together so that was nice and quick i hope that this video helped you um let me know in the comment section if you have any questions but i honestly don't believe that you should because if you submit these things these 14 items okay the fifth thing in the item the fifth the 15th item on the list was proof of schooling in korea but i, I didn't need that because i didn't school in korea so that's not something that you need to worry about so i think people from south africa should concern themselves with the first 14 things with the exception of number six and number 10 for me because i had the pgce certificate well not quite but you guys get what i'm saying so those are all the documents that you need to submit to get that back so i'm very very happy to have all my documents together because this is how i am certain to to secure the bag so good luck to anyone that has the interview lined up soon i hope that you do well remember to stay calm wear bright colors have a smile show them who you are be be happy be excited and then yeah he's a banana shooting more february next year maybe march yeah i'll see you guys in march good luck to everyone i hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment share as well as subscribe remember that we're also like 70 subscribers away from running the draw for the 2k 2000 rands giveaway so i'm very excited for that to be happening remember to tag all your friends watch that video so that you're aware of the terms and conditions in which you will be able to stand a chance to win yourself the 2000 rands yes i will leave it there guys let me go on with the rest of my day i love you stay blessed Please be sure to also check out the link in the description bar. Scroll down to this part of the website where it has all the templates for how your documents are supposed to be. This is going to help you a great deal. So be sure to download the templates and follow them through when you send them to your school so that there are no mistakes. Your passport pictures, size and everything, even how to get your documents apostle. So don't be lazy to check this out. You will do well if you follow this. So good luck.